Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. And uh, I'm just pulling out of the back parking lot of Al's up here in Boyd. I've been down to the store. Pull out here and not get run over. They use this for a raceway right here. Ooh, that wind is blowing in. Let me uh, let me get this window up. Hang on a second here. There we go. Yeah, uh, Sunday morning, and uh, I ran into Lowe's. I'm gonna. I, somebody gave me a package of 16 bean soup, and I know that sounded like something you'd cook in the winter, but. I got it, so I'm gonna eat it. And I went to get some ham hocks, and uh, man, like almost seven dollars for two ham hocks. So I had no way, so I bought a little package of like diced up ham to put in there with it. It says it's got some ham seasoning with them, so uh, I'm gonna put it in that slow cooker. But uh, no, it's not what I'm doing the video on uh it's sunday so i'm gonna get up on my uh i'm gonna preach a little bit here and uh yesterday i uh i went over to uh, another the other i on two social media deals youtube and one other one most of y'all can guess what the other one is and i went over there and uh i posted a comment uh, and, and I posted this comment in no way that I have a, to mean for it to be derogatory, okay? This happens a lot in texting and uh, on social media nowadays. That's why I'm so old school, you know? Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to name names or anything here. I posted this comment, and I was trying to compliment a guy that's worked at his profession for a very, very long time. And uh, I got it posted, and pretty quick, I got a phone call from someone who doesn't ever call me unless it's an emergency. And uh, they asked me to delete that comment that they thought it was would draw bad light. Uh, on them and uh, so I did I went over there and I deleted the comment immediately but you know it just got me to thinking guys people look I, I bet 95% and, and uh, they were right asking me to delete that comment once I thought about it that's why I went back and if I didn't think it was right I wouldn't have deleted it but uh, I, they were right. It would have drawn bad light onto that person. Not the person I was trying to compliment, but someone, someone else. And uh, I'm just not mentioning any names or, or pages or anything here. I just want to bring out a point that, uh, you know, 95%, it might be higher than that, of people, if somebody post something, they don't look immediately and try to pull the positivity out of what you're trying to say or point out. They pull the negative. It, it, it's just the way they are now. It's terrible. You know, my ex, my ex and I, that's why we were married as long as we were, 26 years. She was a very positive person. She looked for the positive in everything. I mean, even even way more than I even thought about. I, I learned a lot about that from her, you know. These goats were right up here a while ago, right by the fence, and I was going to get a shot of them, but they see they're down there by that little pen. See them down there? But anyway, I'm going to keep this short, guys. I don't want to dwell on it, but... I bet you this video, I don't know how I'm going to title it yet, but I'm going to have something with negativity in there, you know, and uh, I bet this video draws more views than my normal videos, you know, 
like I say, in no way was I trying to shed bad light on anybody else that that man worked with. I was trying to compliment the wonderful job that he's done for maybe 35 years, what he does. And it's something I enjoy going to watch, okay? So, uh, you know, don't try to press me on the comments on who or what or when or why. Just, I'm just trying to bring out, you know, dad gum. Uh, I'm trying to bring out two things, you know, how people are, will immediately look for the negativity. That's the main thing. And you, you don't get a call from anybody anymore unless it's an emergency. You know, they're not going to call you just to talk. And unless it's like me and Big Jim or whatever, you know, or Gene, old school people will call, still call each other. But uh, do I get calls from my family just to talk? No. Uh-uh. And I know uh, I watch a I, I watch a channel, a very good channel, uh, and I plugged it before, uh, Gigi, and she uh, crazy for Jesus is the name of her channel, and she she watches this channel, and she'll get on there and and uh, all sorts of uh, positive things and and does a lot of scriptures readings sometimes and. Uh, just her life as a retired person getting by and uh, anyway she was talking about her family uh, not supporting her channel my family supports my channel but I'm talking about I'm getting phone everybody in that generation texts and when you text you lose so much context in what you're trying to say is what I'm trying to point out. And I don't know if, th if that generation would agree with me or not, you know. Do they just not want to talk on the telephone anymore? Unless it's a dire emergency to them, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm almost 73. Just call me an old, an old cooter or old geezer or whatever. But uh, anyway, guys. I'm stepping down off my soapbox and uh, have a happy Sunday. Look for the look for the positive stuff. Somebody makes a comment on, you know, I don't even need to be on that other social media page. Every, every time I go over there, I get in trouble, you know, it seems like. So, all right, guys, peace out. Stay blessed. Stay positive. My gosh, it ain't that dad gum hard. Stay healthy. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.